and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the books I hope you're all very well this Saturday today I'm doing a video that I promised last week and didn't appear forgive me um it's a video of books to get yourselves lost in there may be a variety of reasons you might be finding yourself wanting to get lost in a book but I've got a whole host of books that you can get lost in for different reasons and um hopefully you'll find something in here that you are um keen to uh keen to keen to get get yourself lost in david the cap of the the the, the uh, polish is under the sofa oh that's where it is okay cool he lost it so the first segment is big books to get lost in and just by coincidence both of these books are about Irish authors um, which is very exciting now one of which is one that I've been really really raving about recently you've probably seen me talking about it on um, cozy reading night vlog on uh, books that I'm reading etc etc on Instagram and that's Grown Ups by Marion Keys this is a really big book uh, Marion Keys' books do tend to be big books this is 635 pages long um, and it's just a completely delightful jaunt through family life it's a family saga um, you're following the Casey family um, three brothers of the Casey family but the majority of the story is to do with their wives um, and um and what they've been up to and you follow it over a period of months including different events that the family's been to etc etc um which is I, I had an absolute ball read in this they're really really characters you can get lost like characters you can really um enjoy hearing about uh, events you can get lost in and just sort of I, I, and also what i also enjoyed about it is that it, it was never hard work for me it was always um i could pick it up put it down have a lovely time i could read it for an hour and have a lovely time and read it for 10 minutes and have just as lovely time um which might be how you're feeling about reading at the moment you might not be sitting and reading for a long time you might just be taking little snippets but yeah um really really love this would really really recommend actually um i'm filming this on saturday and um my uh, patreon book club we're discussing this tomorrow tomorrow night on a live show and i can't bloody wait because i've loved it so much i just can't wait to talk about it so that's the first big book um the next big book is the hearts invisible furies by john boyne this is a proof copy um but this is like 500 and something 500 and 500 and something pages 588 pages um and this is uh, the life of a character um called cyril avery you follow his life from um when he was uh, when he's um before he's even born you follow his life because you're following um his mother who's been um cast away from her uh, from her village life uh, living with um in in an irish village because she's pregnant with a married man's child um and uh and then you follow cyril um, as he's born and his his early life with his mother and then um as as he grows up and his relationships and his friendships and it's just fantastic um what i will say is that there's really emotional bits in this i would say that there's really high highs and really low lows um but a great book to get invested in like somebody's life to sort of live that life with cyril loved it loved it loved it um and uh yeah really like uh, one of my favorite books really really loved it the next section is childhood nostalgia why not get yourself a little book that reminds you of uh, reading when you were a child and sort of for me that's sort of like remembering my harry potter days and re reading harry potter for the first time and i can't cannot but stress how much i would um uh, recommend the uh, the nevermore series this is the first book in the series the trials of morrigan crow um by jessica townsend um you follow morrigan here who is a um uh, she's a cursed child destined to die on her 11th birthday and on her 11th birthday um a chap called jupiter north turns up at her house she hasn't le led a very um, happy home life because of the fact she's a cursed child um and he whisks her away and um she in this book she is um uh, taking part in a series of challenges to join a society called the Wondrous Society and people who are in this Wondrous Society have a knack um so it might be like a magic power or something they're really really good at so um there are a whole host of things from like being a mesmerist, um, being able to mesmerise people, to being a really good pickpocket, to being able to... I remember one of the children is able to... Um, to to uh, perform an operation where they remove everyone's uh, remove like everyone's organs and then put them all back in the perfect place whilst blindfolded and just like mad things like that so that the, the first book is about um, her getting into the wondrous society there's actually there's this is going to be a series of books um, the second book is about her getting into the wondrous society spoiler um and um and her learning about her knack and then the third book is due out in august um so if there's something um if, if this is something you enjoy and you like the first book and the second book then the third book will be out in august 
August and um, I would really really recommend the audiobook of these as well because they're brilliant so um, that's something if you want to feel a bit of childhood nostalgia now the next one is something with pictures because a lot of you have been saying I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying they just haven't been able to read um, since, since they've been sort of quarantined or that everyone's got a lot on their minds etc so so why not take something that's got pictures in um, which involves less reading than a normal book and um, just something to sort of lose yourself in for a bit because I know for instance I get lost in sort of Instagram feeds of pictures of, of stuff so why not get yourself lost in a book with pictures so I've got three here um, two are graphic novels and one is a non-fiction book I'll start with the non-fiction book and that's Our Rainbow Queen by Sally Hughes um, this is a book of um, the Queen's outfits throughout her time um, as um, well before she was even Queen like before that and it's set into it's really like pleasing to the eye because um, it's set into of like it's done in the rainbow so like red into orange into yellow into green into blue and there's a print like all the way through and then there's a print section at the end where she's in print and yeah it's really for, like for me I, I very much enjoy the crown if you enjoy the crown you'll probably enjoy this as well um and um i was reading it finding out different events so for instance here 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 she is in a red coat and it says here greeting the public as she attends the maundy service in hereford april 1976 outfit color may change yearly but the purse is distributed are always white and red um so yeah so and it's just so yeah it's just nice just to sort of look at pictures for a bit and just have a lovely time and i read this on a cozy reading night last year and really really enjoyed it so there we go and then as i said i've got two um two graphic novels one that i've read recently and you will have seen me mention that on my um cozy reading night vlog because i loved it but this one is pumpkin heads by rainbow Rao, um and this is um uh, illustrated by faith erin hicks and this tells the story of these two guys i've forgotten their names already oh josiah and deja um and every year during autumn they um work on a pumpkin patch and um they uh, and it's this is going to be their last year working there before they go to um to college and um, they're trying to get Josiah to talk to a girl that he's always fancied um, and it's just a really fun sort of jaunt around the pumpkin patch it starts with a um, with a map of the pumpkin patch with all different like whereabouts um, all the things are happening and and they, they visit all these places and she's trying to get talking to uh, he's trying to get talking to this boy uh, to this girl and yeah it's just really fun like teen sort of fun um, won't take you long and pictures pictures and then the last one is one that i read recently and that's glass town by isabel greenberg i loved this um and this is about the bronte siblings so um the four bronte siblings anne charlotte emily and branwell and um their life and also uh the the life of a, a, a an imaginary place they they've created together called glass town um and they've got characters that live within glass town um and um do different things and things like that and i just i just thought it was so like it's such a real um experiment in imagination that you're reading about the imagination of um a group of children who are, are still into like imagining this glass town place when they're adults and i just really really loved it and um i was absolutely lost in it for the the evening that i read it i read it in a, i read it in one sitting i just adored it um but would really recommend that so yeah things with pictures enjoyable next thing is maybe revisiting something that you love so for instance and again this isn't a book i'll go on about lots because you know how much i love it um i read queenie last year by candice carty williams love this book so this year and um, earlier this year um i i revisited it by listening to the audiobook of it so why not revisit one of your um favorite books um in a different medium so if you've listened to it on audio before why not try reading it or if you've read it before why not try listening to it but also revisiting things that you love so for instance you all know i'm a big fan of the tv series fleabag and if that is on um bbc iplayer at the moment which i believe it is then why aren't you all just going and watching that now um because um i, I loved it it's one of my favorite things ever and david for valentine's day got me this year um was the uh, the scriptures so this is the script of the two series of uh, fleabag with a few sort of like little tidbits in there i expected there to be a little bit more bonus info uh, bonus um bonus stuff in here but there wasn't but still loved it and um, so to be able to revisit something that i've loved so much through a book like a tv series i've loved so much for a book is really exciting so why not have a look and see i know i also love downton abbey and i know there's a whole host of sort of companion books with down um, that have downton abbey um themes so like cookbooks of downton abbey or just history of the place and things like that or where they've got the inspiration for the characters so um yeah why not look at a tv series that you love if they've got any books to do with that and just revisit that the next thing is a series get into a new series um, and the series that i have absolutely adored this year and i've got one more book in the series left to, to read and that is the book i'm about to show you now is um nikki french's frida klein um series and this is the last book this is the eighth book in the series day of the dead which i haven't read but i'm about to start 
shortly literally i'm going to finish the two books hopefully this weekend and then start this um, you follow uh, frida klein who is a clinical psychologist i think um helping out the police with different cases um either willingly or sometimes against her will sort of like just finding herself involved in these cases um each case is different um, each book is a different case but there is one thread that runs throughout them um and uh, i believe that this is that will that thread comes to head ahead in this book. Um, they're gripping. My friend Emma is actually reading them at the moment. I, I lent her my Monday and Wednesday, and then she managed to get the others from the library before they closed. Um, and uh, she's she's she read like the first one in about two days, I think, and she's just started the, uh, the Tuesday one as well. So really, really would recommend if you're into your crime writing. I think you'd really find it fun. And also they they've got really good like representation of mental health in here. I feel like the mental health is dealt with very very carefully. A bit gutty, a bit grimy. So if you're trying to avoid things that aren't necessarily all nice, then maybe avoid this. Um, but yeah, a bit gutty, but really really enjoyable. Uh, the next thing I thought was what about some snappy short non-fiction or non-fiction that you can read if. If you're if you're um, self isolating with with someone else, um, short uh, non fiction that you can sort of like read something um, together and then discuss it. So I've got a, an essay collection here, um, a book about uh, <laughs> star signs, which I really love, and a non fiction book about um, about uh, food as well. So the essay collection I've got is feminists don't wear pink and other lies. This is curated by um, Scarlett Curtis, and there's a whole host of essays in here all about feminism um, from from many many different people. So um, Ivana Lynch, I'll read out some of the people um kira knightley lolly adafope um sasha ronan zoe sugg beanie feldstein um all, all people that i'm really bloody into um so i thought it'd be a nice because they're all essays and none of them is like super long um it would be really cool to like read an essay then get whoever you're um self-isolating with to, to to read an essay as well or who, like just people you're at home with to read an essay as well and then discuss it um and i thought that would be quite a good that sort of like takes away from it's still concentrating on important issues but not maybe the issues that are happening at the moment there's also another one of these called um it's okay to feel blue and other lies i've got that one as well and that one's about mental health so um maybe that or, or any essay collection but these are ones that i know are sort of super accessible um and the next one is a is a food book um called uh, by ruby tando called eat up which i read a few years ago and really really love ruby tando was a finalist on um uh, the great british bake-off which is a baking show in the uk i'm sure you've heard of it many years ago long long time ago she was on there um and she's also a journalist and, and writes food columns and things like that um but this is a book all about food and um i i loved it i i read it it's got some recipes in there but mainly it's sort of like odes to different foods that she's loved and like her relationship with foods and things like that and then um, we've all got a lot of time on our hands at the moment and maybe we can't get to the foods that we want but why not read about the foods that you enjoy and maybe plan a sort of menu for the future like when uh, when this madness is all over because this isn't forever guys this isn't forever um, when this madness is all over why not sort of think about a food like a, a meal you'd like to have or or just like things to like food memories and stuff like that i just feel like these have got like again it's in quite short bits that you could read and then pass on to whoever you're with and then they could read and you could discuss it and then lastly um in this section is um astro poets um your guide to the zodiac and this is alice dimitrov and dorothy lasky um i included this in my um christmas gift guide last year um i really really love this book and it's separated into um star signs even if you don't believe in star signs i really feel like there's something in here like dave and i were both surprised that when we read aloud um the bits so i read aloud his bits about his star sign and he read aloud my it's about my star sign i'm a sagittarius um and how um how a lot of the stuff that we were reading really does apply to us um and this is also fun this book because it's got like play it's so like a playlist curated for so for instance i'm on the leo section at the moment so it's got as, as well as like going into detail as about like famous leos and uh and uh Le the leo imagination texting with a like texting with a leo leo style leo as a friend etc it's got famous leos and then a leo playlist um so i feel like that's really fun to then you could sort of sit and listen to one two three four five six i think there's about 10 songs in each of the playlists um let me share with you my sagittarius playlist because i remember uh, seeing a few songs on there that i did like so there's a few on there i don't know trina the baddest bitch i don't know that one frank sinatra fly me to the moon the doors love me two times Nicki minaj super bass ozzy osbourne see you on the other side britney spears give me more jay-z young forever billy idol dance with myself Sinead O'Connor, Nothing Compares to You, and Most Deaf Miss Fat Booty. Um, so yeah, really like fun to sort of chat. And I remember when I got this, um, this was sent to me by um, Emma at Book Break. Um, Dave and I just were laying on the bed reading it to each other for quite a long time. So 
very fun, very enjoyable. Um, and then the last section I've got is sort of like ultimate for me, um, I guess, there's been a lot of videos about comfort reads um, and I think my ultimate comfort reads um, are Harry Potter um, and this, taking that in mind with sort of mixing that with a bit of childhood nostalgia and something with pictures, um, I've got here, I, I mean I own all of them but they're too heavy for me to hold, um, the illustrated Harry Potter book. So this is the first one, the um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. But I actually got um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire for my birthday last year and haven't even, haven't even looked at this I don't think. Let's have a little look at one of them. This must be, the, the, this must be sort of, Oh look, here he is. There's Dumbledore with uh, the Goblet of Fire, having a lovely time. So yeah, um, so the, like now might be a good time to sort of sit down with your Harry Potter books and just have a little reread and just um, just take yourself away from it all, really. So here, those are some books that I believe you could get yourself as lost in. Let me know um, if you would read any of these books. Let me know if you've read any. Let me know if you've been reading a lot recently and what you've been getting yourselves lost in. And I'll see you all again soon for another booktube video. Goodbye.